Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome to my let's play of Fallout 2. This is the first episode and today we're going to be starting a new game. I've never played Fallout 2 before so this is going to be a blind let's play. I have played Fallout 1 and I'll leave a link to that playlist in the description below. I had a blast playing it. It's one of my favorite games and I'm hoping that Fallout 2 is going to be even better. So before we get going, let's take a look at the, some of the options here. For game preferences, we are going to leave everything at normal difficulty. I have turned on the maximum blood because there are some great animations in Fallout 1 and I'm hoping Fallout 2 will be even better. And I will be turning off the music once the game starts. So we're going to leave everything else here at default. Let's take a look at the screen settings. Now everything here is default as well. But I like playing at the lowest resolution possible. I believe that the game was meant to be played in this resolution. I like the close feel of it. So this is how we're going to roll. We're going to play the intro here. But I am going to remove the song. There is copyright song in the trailer. So I'm going to remove that. And any song that you hear in there is going to be from the YouTube library. But let's take a look. Few survived the devastation, 
Some had been fortunate enough to reach safety, taking shelter in great underground vaults. When the great darkness passed, these vaults opened, and their inhabitants emerged to begin their lives again. One of the northern tribes claims they are descended from one such vault. They hold that their founder and ancestor, one known as the Vault Dweller, once saved the world from a great evil. According to their legend, this evil arose in the far south. It corrupted all it touched, twisting men inside, turning them into beasts. Only through the bravery of this Vault Dweller was the evil destroyed. But in so doing, he lost many of his friends and suffered greatly, sacrificing much of himself to save the world. When at last he returned to the home he had fought so hard to protect, he was cast out, exiled. In confronting that which they feared, he had become something else in their eyes, and no longer their champion. Forsaken by his people, he strode into the wasteland. He traveled far to the north, until he came to the great canyons. There he founded a small village, Arroyo, where he lived out the rest of his years. And so, for a generation since its founding, Arroyo has lived in peace, its canyons sheltering it from the outside world. It is home. Your home. But the scars left by the war have not yet healed, and the Earth has not forgotten. All right, a little backstory of what happened to our character in the first game. Very interesting. It sounds like we have created our own village. So let's start a new game here and create our new character. I want to create my own character, but there is a few here to pick from. Let's create our own. Now, I think I want to be an unarmed. I want to be a Kung Fu high intelligence smooth talking kung fu artist is what i want to be a bruce lee type so let's go through here and pick which ones we think are the best for that goal so strength raw physical strength a high strength is good for physical characters modifies hit points melee damage and carry weight so melee damage is going to be important to us because we are going to be punching people to death, I think. Perception. The ability to see, hear, taste, and notice unusual things. A high perception is important for sharpshooters. Modifies sequence, ranged combat distance modifiers. So I'm not sure if this is really that important to us. Uh, sequence would be nice. That is turn order in this game. Let's take a look at endurance, stamina, and physical toughness. A character with high endurance will survive where others may not. Modifies hit points, poison, and radiation resistances, healing rate, and the additional hit points per level. This does sound interesting. We always need hit points, so we're going to keep an eye on endurance. Charisma is next. A combination of appearance and charm. A high charisma is important for characters that want to influence people with words. Modifies NPC reaction and barter prices. Now this one I am very interested in because I think it's very cool that I can talk my way out of some of the fights. At least I could in Fallout 1 and I really like that so I'm going to be putting some points into charisma for sure. Intelligence. Knowledge, wisdom, and the ability to think quickly. A high intelligence is important for any character. Modifies the number of new skill points per level, dialogue options, and many skills. Now, dialogue options, once again, I think is very important for our smooth-talking kung fu expert that we're trying to make here. So we're going to dump some points into intelligence as well. Agility, coordination, and the ability to move well. A high agility is important for any active character. Modifies action points, armor class, sequence, and many skills. Now, I think agility here is important as well because we are a kung fu person. I think that agility is important. They have to be pretty agile to be a kung fu master. And luck. Fate, karma, and extremely high or low luck will affect the characters somehow. Events and situations will change by how lucky or unlucky your character is. 
Now, this one I don't think is very important, and I think it would be kind of funny if we were kind of unlucky and bad things were happening to us all the time. So let's drop this down to bad luck. We have eight points to spend. Let's raise strength up to very good. Charisma up to very good. And intelligence up to very good. And maybe agility up to very good. Let's try this. I'm going to name my character the same as my old one. Normantis the second. Can I put two in there? No, I can't. So it's just going to be Normantis. We're going to be age 25, male, and we are the son of our old character. We're going to pretend. Now for the optional traits here, I think we can pick two. I want bloody mess for sure. Let's take a look at this one. By some strange twist of fate, people around you die violently. You always see the worst way a person can die. Now, there was some great animations in Fallout 1. I'm hoping they're going to be even better here, and I want to see them. So I'm going to pick this one just for entertainment sakes. Hopefully we can punch people's heads off is my uh, dream here, or karate chop some people's heads off. And I'm thinking I'm going to go for sex appeal here. Sounds funny as well. You got the right stuff. Members of the opposite sex are attracted to you, but those of the same sex tend to become quite jealous. I think this would be an interesting thing to have too. So we're going to take sex appeal here and bloody mess. Now we have three skill points. Now um, we're going to go with unarmed because we want to be a Kung Fu master. And here is the Kung Fu drawing. I like the look we are chopping some wood here with our hands that's exactly what i want a combination of martial arts boxing and other hand-to-hand -hand martial arts combat with your hands and feet so we are going to be punching our way through this game this sounds like a lot of fun to me i also want to pick lockpick here so let's pick unarmed lockpick a skill of opening locks without the proper key the use of lockpicks or electronic lockpicks will greatly enhance this skill. I want to be able to lockpick, so we're going to pick this one. And science is important. At least it was in Fallout 1. We had to do some hacking, so we're going to pick some, some, some science. Covers a variety of high technology skills such as computers, biology, physics, and geology. So let's pick that one. And we can pick up a few more of these as the game goes on, but I think that this is looking pretty good. Let's let's start the game. Come in, chosen one. There are things you must know. The village is dying. The signs are everywhere. Withering crops. Dying Brahmin. Sick children. There is hope, however. A slim hope. That few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. This will be your quest, if you prove yourself worthy. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come back to me. We will talk more. Our life is in your hands, Chosen One. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Be our salvation. All right, and here we are in the game. And I love this interface here because you can look at things. You see a fire pit down here, it says. And we can investigate that. You can see nothing out of the ordinary. This type of game I absolutely love. Let's take a look around. This looks like the entrance to the trial. We'll go in there in a second. And it looks like we have a friendly villager over here. Let's walk, run over to him. Let's say hi to him.
Good day to you, Normantis. You have not completed the trial of the Elder and may not pass. I have some questions for you. Forgive me, but I have no answers to your questions. Take the trial set before you by the Elder and prove yourself worthy to lead our peoples. Very well. All right, it looks like they're not going to let us go back to the village, so let's run up here. I don't think there's anything else that we can do on this screen. Let's enter the trials and see how we do. Let's take a look around. There seems to be some giant ants here. Let's take a look at these. You see a giant ant. Oh, they're coming at me. I ran up there by accident. Let's see. We're going to punch this one. Killed one. And... And we're going to have to say a turn there. We only have one action point left. Oh, he's hit me for three points of damage. Let's punch him. Oh, am I not close enough? There we go. Punch him again. I've missed both times. We only have one action point. We're going to have to call that a turn. We get hit by another three points of damage. It's not a great start. And we've hit him for six, and we've killed the giant ants. Let's take a look around here and see what we're dealing with. There seems to be like a, some benches over here. Some more ants. There may be a barrel or something that we can investigate over here. hallway there looks like jail cells or something here there is a creature over here maybe and an exit right there i wonder how large this is going to be anyways i want to kill all the monsters that we can so we can level up let's see if we can open this door first there is we just exited combat, I think. And we've opened the door. We've earned 50 experience points for that. Alright, we earned 50 experience points for killing the ant, I should say. For crushing our enemy. Let's run up over here. I don't want to fight them all together again. Let's punch him. All right, he's dead. Let's we move up here. Four. Let's move four. Now, how far we need to move one? Can we punch him from there? We've missed. We've hit him for five, and we only have one action point. We're going to have to call that a turn. And we've got hit for another two points. We have 24 hit points left. Did he move? I think he moved. No, I can't hit him from there. That one's dead. For We hit him for seven points, and he was killed. This game has so much detail if you click around. There's so much detail and stuff to read. It's very, it's very good. There he is. Let's see. Can we walk up to him? Let's punch him. We've done seven points and was killed on the first hit. Great. Let's leave combat. Oh, is there anything we can search? There is a pot there. You search the pot. There is... What is this here? Healing powder. Very nice. This is a little bit different, I believe, from Fallout 1. It's been a while. What do we have over here? There is a wall... There's a depression on the floor. You see nothing out of the ordinary, though. All right. 
Let's get out of here. I think there's nothing else here. What do we have? We have a stone bench. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Let's keep going. Oh, we have a healing powder. So there is some scorpions here, it looks like. Here we go. I don't want to attract all of them at once. I want to fight one at a time if I can. Or... We're right there. Can we punch him now? There is one. We hit a lesser scorpion. We hit for six hit points. Let's call it a turn. Oh, good. We get another one. And was killed for six hit points. We did. Let's walk in here. Okay, we are out of combat now. Here comes another one. A small mutated scorpion looks unhurt. Okay. Let's move up for four. Punch him. And we hit him for five hit points. We have one action point left. Let's call that a turn. We get to go again. And he is dead. We hit him for six. I don't see, think there is any more scorpions in this room. Let's leave combat and search here. Is there anything interesting over here? What about this thing? There is an incense burner. Nothing out of the ordinary. We have a stone bench there and a torch. Stone bench here. Yeah, there's nothing interesting here. Let's keep going. Let's run up here. We have some more scorpion. Looks like another scorpion there. Let's move up slowly. Here he comes. Can we go up with three? Can we punch him from here? No, we need to move one more. Let's punch him. We hit him for four hit points. Let's call that a turn. Good, we get to go again. Five hit points. And another six, and he has been killed. Let's walk up. We are out of combat now. Is there anything interesting here? A stone bench back there. Lesser scorpion. There's nothing really... Let's go open here. Now, is there anything interesting in here that we can see? What about behind this wall? No. What's this? Oh. These are bones here. And we got the scorpion's attention. He's coming up. Oh, there's another scorpion right here. I wonder if he's on this side of the wall. Let's go here. Oh, we still can't hit him. And we don't have enough skill points. We need three action points. We have two left. Let's call that a turn. This one doesn't look like he's seen us. Hopefully he's on this side of the wall. Four. Oh, I missed. And I can't go anymore. He's going to hit us. Oh, he took one point and we've been poisoned here. That's not good. Missed. And we've killed him. Hit him for four. Hopefully this poison isn't going to hurt us too badly. Let's get out of combat if we can. Let's see. Can we... I do not have enough action points. Let's leave combat. Oh, there's a hostile creature here. Oh, they're right there. They're on us. Hopefully, we can kill them. And yes, we did. Hit them for seven the first hit, six on the second. Let's search these bones. 
I do not have enough action points. Let's leave combat. What we got here? Another spear. We have two spears anyways. Let's go into our inventory. What is this here? A very powerful healing magic. Though it will bring the feeling of sleep to your head, it weighs one pound. All right. So at least we have a little bit of healing powder. We have 23 hit points. We're doing all right. What's this one again? Oh, this is Strong Punch, Strong Kick. Look at that. Very cool. Skill X. Skill Dex, I should say. And this is the options menu here. Awesome. Let's go around and see if there's anything that we can find here. What else is here? There was something else here? No, there wasn't. Cracks in the floor. I don't think there's anything else in this room. All right, let's keep going. Let's see, can we open this door? It appears the door to be locked. Let's see, skill X, can we lock pick the door? You gain 25 experience points. You definitely picked the lock on the door, so it looks like we can open it now. Very cool. Love it. Let's keep exploring. Let's take a look at this area. We have, what's this here? A scorpion there and a scorpion here. There looks like there is some sort of chest here. Another indent in the floor. Depression. There is some interesting chasm here with some a grinder, it looks like. Cool. And we've got some giant ants here. And the exit. And we've got another chest up there. Let's try to get these chests. All right, let's run up. I wonder if there's going to be any traps or not. We'll go up over here first. Can we get the scorpion's attention here? Oh, here come... Oh, no. Do we have two of them coming at us? There's one, we have two, we have to say a turn here, uh-oh. We are still poisoned, we have 20. Alright, one is dead. Let's wait. This one's coming up, now we can hit him. We missed. We hit him for six. We gotta say a turn here. Oh, hit us for six hit points. We have 14 left. That's not good. That one's dead. I'm wondering, let's... Can we take that... Let's wait till we get down to about 10 hit points before we take that healing. All right. Let's get out of combat. Let's unlock this... We've got another healing, it looks like. Very nice. We can always use that. We might need it. We are still poisoned down to 14. Uh, you see a raised plate. I wonder what that is. All right, here comes the ant. Punch it. Dead. Let's get out of combat. All 
here comes the other ant. Walk up to it. And killed it for six hit points. Very nice. Let's see what's inside here. I do not have enough action points. Let's leave combat. Search the pot. What is this? You see plastic explosives. All right. This could come in handy. Blowing our way out of here, maybe. We'll have to see. This poison doesn't seem to be hurting us too much. So there is the exit. Let's kill... Leave that one for now. Let's go over here. And that one's dead. Beautiful. Let's keep going. We're out of combat now. Oh, we're back in. Let's walk up to this one. End of turn. And that one is dead after hitting it for seven hit points. Let's check out this uh, chest here. There is some antidote. We may be we may be able to drink this one. Bottle contains a home brewed antidote for poison, a milky liquid with floating pieces of rad scorpion flesh. Ooh. I don't know. Should we drink that right now? We're gonna wait, I think. We're probably gonna get poisoned again. But we'll see if it actually matters to us. Okay, let's keep going. Let's run back. Now, I think there was a... Yes. There's an ant here. Here it comes. Let's walk up to it. I punched it. Killed it after six hit points of damage. Let's see... And we is a metal door impenetrable impenetrable door all right let's can we lock pick this it doesn't look like it impenetrable door all right all right let's see can we we do this we're going to set the timer for one minute all right i i almost blew myself up there due to your inept handling the explosive detonates prematurely I wasn't waiting long enough. I thought I was doing something wrong, but I didn't. All right. This is working out for us. Let's find out where we are now. There is another door here. There is a chest there. And we have an ant here. Oh, we're in combat. What about over here? There is another chest up there. So we're going to go exploring all of this stuff here now as well. All right, we're going to say turn on this. Here comes the ant. Let's punch him. And that one was killed. Let's move up. And now this ant is coming. Let's go turn here. And another turn. Oh, 
Punch him. And another one. And that ant's been killed. Perfect. Let's go in here. Let's leave combat. Let's go over here and check out this. There is nothing here. Interesting. All right. Well, let's go to the other spot up here. Here comes a scorpion. We are going to call that a turn. We're going to get him to come up to us. Punch him. Missed. Seven points of damage, and we don't have enough. Ouch. Hit us for two. And it was killed. Let's run up in here. There is, I believe there's another rat scorpion right there. Here it comes. Let's wait our turn. Do it again. Six hit points. Missed. Ouch. We're down to six hit points. It's dead. All right, let's see. Can we use one of these? Let's use this one. All right, we're back up to 23 hit points now. We are still poisoned, however. Oh, nice. Let's heal ourselves from the poison. Let's try that since we have two of these now. Inventory. Let's use one of these. And our poison is now done. You're at full health, it seems. There's nothing else in this room. Uh, stone bench. A stone bench. Let's get out of here. Let's run all the way back over here. Now, can we open this door? Yes, we can. What do we got here? We have a tribesman and we have the fire pit. Let's run up. You see nothing out of the ordinary. Anything else in here? Incense burner. It doesn't look like it. Let's talk to this guy. Greetings, Normantis. I have the honor of being your final challenge. To continue in your quest, you must defeat me in unarmed combat. Shall we begin? He wants to fight me in unarmed combat. All right. I've got some questions for you first. What would you like to know? Is this fight to the death? No, my friend, you need only defeat me. When the time comes, we will end the battle. All right. What would you like to know? Why do we have to fight? The path of the Chosen One is not easy trail to walk, nor Mantis. You will be faced with many challenges throughout your lifetime, and the most difficult of these will be dealing with your fellow man. There will come a time when diplomacy and tact will prove to be useless and your hand must be raised instead. This challenge prepares you to face another human, look him in the eyes, and know that you may have to kill him. I see. Let's get this fight over with. Very well. Shall we begin? I am ready. Excellent. Your equipment will be kept in the trunk outside of the room. You can get it after the fight. Let the fight begin. Good luck to you, Normantis. Q. 
he runs up and he misses me. Let's punch him 68%. Let's try. We punched him for 7 hit points. I will never see the village again. Yes, you will. I'm not going to kill you. Let's punch him again. We hit him for another 5 hit points. You have taken my soul. We have 2 action points left. We don't have enough to punch him again. Two points and four points. We are at 17 hit points. Let's punch him again. Six points of damage. Seven points of damage. My insides burn. You have defeated me. You are worthy, chosen one. Is that it? Have I defeated him? It looks like I have defeated him. Alright. Let's keep going out. Well, we have gained a level with that, and we've gained 300 experience points as well, and we're going to explore our hometown in the next episode. So thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you soon.